Good morning. So today is, I think, day nine or day ten. I can't remember now. Uh, and I had that disaster yesterday where I figured out that my slots are on the wrong side of that board. That was very disappointing after all that effort. But then I had an idea this morning uh, that might just save it a little bit. At least it does in my brain. It's I'm a bit happier about this now. So what I'm going to do is assemble these shelves. I'm going to assemble them. Uh, one side with dovetail joints and the other side with screws but I'm going to put the screws inside that groove first then fill the groove and make it look like it's not there at all themselves are nice and rigid rigid and the gaps are pulled in uh, glued and screwed the screws behind there are, will be against the wall so they'll never get seen the screws up here are buried in builders bog so they'll never get seen so it's a mystery how these shelves are so well built and rigid when there's no screws to be seen. And only you and I know the secret. for that spot. of doors in there different sizes these ones are the closest fit but and I'm gonna clean them up obviously with sanding and whatnot I also need to cut maybe a couple of a 10 mil or so off of each one to make it fit the space properly uh, but instead of having them just plain doors like that with that insert I'm thinking take the inserts out and use off cuts from the bench top to make a new insert in there that matches it.
11 today. I'm going to see if I can get these doors finished. Except I've got to make my template about a mil smaller, I think, all around. I'll show you how I was guiding it. There's a little collet guard. It's an extra plate you can put in there, and that little round bit there runs against the edge of my template. It's not much of a lip there, but enough to do the job except there was one or two little dig-ins there but that doesn't matter they'll sand out there was one chip out on the corner but that doesn't matter because i'm going to put a chamfer all around anyway and i'm going to have another run at it with the template made smaller said it's not very good because there's only a tiny little chamfer on it because of the bearing I need the bearing to run along the side so I don't dig into the wood but the bearing sits so high with the knot on it That's what I wanted. That's not perfect there, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. That one's better. And since the two inserts are done with the same template, it has to be the door that's out of shape. So I'm happy with those. I'll hand them off to Rosie for now. Uh, they're not stuck together yet. I'll wait till she's finished painting them first. I'm, I'm kind of happy with that now. It'd be better if it was flawless, but it's not flawless, so I'm happy rather than chuffed. Because I've got so much length here more than I need what I can do is have a couple of practice runs at getting it perfect I'll cut along the joints that are already in it that looks pretty good But sanding will fix that. It's quitting time. Uh, so I've got these, I've got a clamp on there. I've uh, countersunk five screws underneath. So they should be holding it in place right now. But 
I'm going to leave the clamps there until the liquid nails sets. I'm also going to leave the liquid nail squeeze out there until it sets too and take it off with a chisel later. But I was right, the clamps squeezed it up nice and tight. I don't see any gaps in it, maybe one tiny one there, but it is tiny. Uh, and so I'm very happy with that. I think that's the joint I made, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, because it's just as good as any of the others. So I'm very happy about that. Day, ter day 13. It's day 13 today. I'm going to try and finish Dome Dusted today, hopefully. Rosie asked me last night how I was going to mount these wooden inserts here. And I told her, honestly, I don't know. Because, like, the rest of this plan, it's not, not the right name to call it, actually, a plan. I'm just making it up on the fly. And having had just a little think about it, I thought it might be easiest to use some double-sided tape initially. Because there's a bit of jiggling to do with getting gaps even and stuff. And then once they're held in place, I can come back and put some screws through them. I reckon I'm really on the home straight when I start caulking. Okay, that's another job done. I'm happy, Rosie's happy. And while that's important, I haven't had a proper inspection yet, so I better get the experts in. Pretty good, Granddad. It's just like the ones from your shops. Yeah. So we can 
you have to come out and say, there's no leaks. I don't know. Zoe, come on. Push it open and come out and say, there's not even any leaks, Grandad. No. Zoe, look at me. Look at me. It's really strong, Grandad. Yeah, it is really strong.